What we have here today is we got us a new GoPro wannabe made by Aitman A79 and it is an action camera. The first action camera that I've owned so I've got a little bit to learn about it. I done unboxed it. I've charged up the two batteries that it comes with. Here's one of them here and it's got a charging cord right here which is a USB uh, to a USB number two uh, the, the camera's right here and right now I'm doing this video with my cell phone and I'll go to the action cam here as soon as I can to do this it does not come with a memory card okay but I've read a little bit on the booklet and I've got a memory card somewhere in this box because I dropped it in here. I actually put it in this card right here that says hello. Right. But it's got a quick start booklet. Gives you what all the accessories is it, it comes with. And which is nice because it does come with a bunch of accessories. And it's got a full blown manual in several languages. Uh, English is up front here, and then it goes into all the other languages that's in the book. Um, really nice features. It does come with a waterproof case, okay? And there it is right there. And the camera is actually mounted in the case when you get it out of the box. But it has a lock device right here which holds it closed, and you pull this out pull this that way and then you pop that up like that and the back of it opens up and you put your camera inside like so uh, for water and dust and high high contaminated areas you must use this right here it does come with protective coverings on on over the lens and things it also comes with a protective sheet over the back of it to keep it from being scratched up now, the camera does not come with an SD, micro SD card, which I've got right here in my hand. Uh, done had one, so it's a 32 gig. This camera will take from an 8 up to a 64 on the micro SD cards. So your box of accessories that it comes with is definitely a huge box of accessories. It'll adapt to just about any kind of situation that you want it to. Uh, we're going to put this box away over here and open up this box here. Um, I've done looked at them. Um, as you can see, I've done taken some out of the packages just to check it out. But it comes with this uh, camera mount right here to where you can mount it to a selfie stick or an actual uh camera tripod which is really nice okay it also will clip on to the camera itself without uh without the case on it but it's really nice there it comes with some arm bands or some straps and some velcro straps here uh these are self self-locking nylon straps uh just to have them to where you can put them on to say the this right here but you don't really need that like that um, bicycle handlebar mount of course it comes with a bunch of accessories we're just going to dig them out this is a lens protector a new one to replace on this back right here in case it does get damaged uh, it comes with a clippy like a backpack clippy thing right here comes with all kinds of adapters long short swivels uh, zip ties for them uh, it comes with a wristwatch band right here and it does come with a remote which i've already got the remote put on something else because i do not want to wear that 
on my wrist. Uh, I would just soon carry it on my in my hand, so I put it on one of my keychains like that. Um, and I just bought these from Walmart. These are those lobster clasp, and it just does like so. Doesn't hurt any anything at all. So, but that is the remote control for it. I said I've done charged up the two batteries that it comes with. Comes with this swivel adapter here, which is pretty cool. Uh, not too sure if it's got a screw or something in here that you can actually use this mount on your tripod for a standard camera, a quarter twenty screw. But it comes with all kinds of all kinds of things. It comes with uh, an auxiliary microphone. And you see, it's got a wind wind berm on it right here for the phone. Uh, I've read some reviews, they say that this microphone is is not very good, but I haven't tried it yet, so we'll find out maybe. I don't know if I'll ever use it or not, but you can uh, adapt this thing to all kinds of things. Some more sticky pads and a cable uh, in case you want to go jumping off of a stream or whatever. You check this, put this cable on, and guess what? It'll be cabled to whatever tethered that you need it to be tethered to. So it's pretty nice. And it also comes with a cleaning rag right here. Uh, which I think is microfiber, almost like a microfiber sheet. So, you know, microfiber rag will probably clean it up with no problem. So we'll throw all this stuff back in here. And we'll get back to this discussion about the 8-man a 79 sport camera uh, video creator maker whatever uh, I found this I like I said on Amazon it was on sale when I got it so I did not pay full price for this it comes with two batteries it comes with all these attachments it comes with the remote and extra mic so I thought it was a pretty good deal I've been looking at them and looking at them I just kind of figured well why not just go ahead and get this one now for this price this little camera is wi-fi capable okay so you can use it as a webcam okay it's got a menu area here and you scroll buttons here and here okay uh, it's got your power button here and this here's your shutter or your start for your okay uh, video uh, to do your settings and stuff like that uh, according to the paper uh, in order to go to the settings you go in here but before I power this up I do want to install my micro SD card according to the paperwork this micro SD card goes with this area looking down and then it goes right into this slot right here okay so it goes into that slot with that area looking down and then you push it in and it locks into place. Now to get that back out of there, you're supposed to push it in again. I don't know how, unless you have some really good long fingernails, but then it pops back out and then you can remove it. Okay, this is Wi-Fi capable, like I said, and you can download a phone app. Uh, an app on your phone that will actually take this thing and you can control it from your cell phone then from your phone I think it says uh, within five meters you can hook up to this which is approximately 15 foot no further than 20 foot or else you'll lose connection with it you can also use this as a um, webinar kind of thing to where you can hook it up to your computer and use it as your as your uh, computer thingy whatever it's called that camera uh, computer camera it does have a microphone built into this it also comes with the auxiliary microphone you want not not the top dog but it comes with uh, features on it that's got like stabilization or anti-shake okay it's got a supposedly a 170 degree angle field of view. Uh, it does 4K, 1080, 
and 720. Now it has different frame rates and everything except for the 4K. It also will shoot uh, multiple shots up to five in your still mode camera. Uh, it'll it'll do uh, loop video. Anyways, I think it's impressive so far. We're going to boot this thing up and go through the menus. don't really have a good display lighting, so on the back, there we go, maybe we can see that. Um, you got 4K at 30 frames, 2.7K at 30 frames, 1080p at 60 frames, 1080p at 30 frames, and 720 at 120 frames, okay? Now, you can click down through here using the side buttons. To change these things myself because of the file sizes the 1080 at 30 frames is good enough then you come up here to the top and you click OK now it gives you your video resolution image stabilization is next down you hit your top button to go into it and you click it on okay video looping of course that's off uh, time lapse videos off, slow motion capabilities, audio record is on, okay, and then back to your video resolution. Now, the way I understand it, you hit this front button here, your power button, and it goes to the next feature set, okay, photo resolution and all that stuff, uh, which we'll just scroll down through real quick, as you can see, it's just those three items. And you hit this back here again on your power button on the back on this front side, which is right here. And it goes to the next menu item. Now I've done did all this set up already. Uh, the effects normal, light balance normal, ISO is auto. Okay. Uh, you scroll down. Contrast, saturation, sharpness. Uh, general settings is where we're at volume I did increase it it was at 5 I wanted to bring it on up you can shut your beep on and off here uh, the exposure I want to show you this right here because it goes from a negative 2 to a plus 2 on this side of the screen okay now I can bring it all the way up and you can see it comes into these increments uh, that to a plus two. And it goes 1.7, 1.3, a one, a point seven, a point three, and zero. And it does the same thing going the other way into the darkening of the of the capture. So I've got it set at a plus point seven. I do believe it would make good video unless I'm in super broad white background situations. So uh, just by my experience, you got white balance, auto, ISO, auto, effect, normal. Okay. And there you have all of your stuff. Contrast, saturation, sharpness, again, volume. Okay push your button again this goes into your tools now your date and time I've set it up your timestamp you can turn it on or off your date format you can change the format of your date now reading the booklet okay it tells me that anytime that you change batteries then you've got to go back in and set your date and time back up in this system because this system, once you undo your battery, it has no little micro battery in it to keep the memory set. So it goes automatically back to default settings, which means if you've got your exposure like I do, uh, set up your EIS, your anti-shake and all that stuff set up, you'll have to go back in first thing when you change batteries and reset all this. So that's kind of a downfall of this uh, little camera that I have found so far. Uh, frequency is on 50 hertz. We're going to go in here and go to 60 hertz, okay? Because I like that better. The upside down, you can turn it on or off if you turn it on. 
and hit OK. Then it takes your screen and goes upside down with it. Uh, that would be for if you're going this away with your camera. But for the most part, I'm going to leave that off and probably shoot with the camera in this position uh, because it does come with a two-headed uh, screw-in device I can actually use this on the top of it to put it on my little mounts that I have which are nice screen saver three minutes uh, it comes automatically set to a few seconds five seconds or so and I maxed it out to three minutes. I don't want this thing cutting me off whenever I'm trying to do stuff. Formatting your SD card. You must format your SD card to make it match this camera. That way it'll be able to read and write uh, to it and from it. This SD card is an extra SD card that I've got for my Holy Stone prone uh, drone uh, quadcopter. And it tells you right here what the version number is. And this is an eight man a79 and the version 4 1.0.1-a so that is the version number hit your okay and that gets you back at it hit your front button one more time and press the shutter button to exit so we're done with the setup menu i do believe we're ready to go i'm gonna start doing video with this cam camera here in just a few minutes using the 8-man 4k camera we're running on uh, 1080p uh, 30 frames per second right now i do believe we're going to give this thing a test right here i've done an uh, i've done unbox this little thing right here what this is is a 12-turn motor i ordered it and that's really why i got on amazon uh, was to get me a motor for my for my shop truck that we done, uh, Rat Fink style. Um, and so I seen this motor right here. I was looking for a 12 turn, uh, according to the Exceed website, it does have a 550 motor in the little buggy, uh, which is the mad, whatever it's called, buggy from Exceed. Uh, but I'm going to put this 12 turn motor in it. Now what worries me the most about this motor is the shaft length. As you can see, that's a pretty long shaft. Well, that motor's in an enclosed environment. I'll probably have to do some finagling to get this shaft to go down inside that enclosed environment when I hook everything up. Might have to punch a little hole in it. I hope not, but we'll find out here in a little bit. I just wanted to, to let you all know that how this camera is actually working so and that's what i'm doing here you can see it comes with a heat sink okay it's supposed to go on here the exceed motor does have a heat sink on it too which is really nice this was a unexpected uh pleasurable find whenever you find a heat sink for a motor that you just bought i do believe this motor would run me about uh, a little less than 17 dollars and we're going to give it a try. It's a brushed 12 turn 550 style motor. Made in China. Just like most everything else in this hobby. But we'll give it a shot. It's got your mount holes. 550 style. 550 can. Let's hope it works. We're going to put it in and find out. Here's the Exceed buggy that I'm working on. Uh, we're shooting this again with the 8 man 4K. Still under... 1080p 30 frames per second and I had this out uh, not too long ago down at the town park thought that my battery went dead uh, my lipo battery but it was fully charged after I got it back to the room here in Larry's RC room and we checked the battery and it was still charged and I said well that ain't no good so I tried it out again the ESC is responding with the lights and everything's still bound and everything's good to go in that area but I noticed the last time I run this little buggy that my motor had smoked out pretty hard didn't realize how hard until I got it down to the park and there it was so we'll t take this motor out and we'll replace it with this uh, new motor here and from Amazon 
and see what it's like. Uh, I've got my rat pink mounted by body clips on the actual buggy body uh, mount. And there it is. So drill two holes in that rat pink, mount him up there so where he's standing up above the truck. Uh, those of you that follows my channel, you've seen the truck already. So the truck body is not with me at this time pretty simple stuff to do we're gonna do this and i'm gonna shut up We're just gonna let this motor set here and run. Not like that. It's all the them all the way up. I'm using my throttle trim on my controller. To break this motor in. Heck yeah. Having fun, man. We got it all installed. I had to do a little bit of motor shaft shaving and uh, move the ESC because this can is a little bit longer now. According to Exceed's website, the motor that comes in these buggies are a 550 can. When you pull this motor out of this buggy, it tells you high power. Oh yeah, Exceed also claims that these are 2 to 3S LiPo capable by moving the jumper on the 1060 ESC. Which the ESC is, it really is, but... The motor's not. This is high power 540 short can. Okay. It is a 540 short can. And 7.2 volts. Uh, it's a 20 turn. So 8020 FDF. So it is a 20 turn motor. It comes in them. That part of it on their website they got right. But the brushed buggies for e, for the Exceed, their specs are all wrong down the list there. But this thing does have a 540 motor in it. It's a long can. It does fit. Uh, the, the divot in the chassis does fit the long can, so that's not a problem. The long shaft, however, you do have to modify and cut it off. And what you do is just measure this. Make sure that you wrap a rag over the end of this this end bell of the can bell here wrap yourself a rag get yourself a couple magnets down here to catch all your metal shavings take a dremel tool and make your mark and cut that thing off and then deburr it with a little file then when you remove your magnets and your rag together it pulls all your debris away from your can you don't want that debris going into the can of your motor of your new motor because all that metal shavings is not good on a brushed motor brushless systems are enclosed these cans are wide open so uh anyways i hope you all enjoyed the uh enjoyed this with that daggone eight man uh a79 camera video on this i know i cut some stuff out of here but uh appreciate you watching hey Peace out. All right. Have fun laughing, playing, and all our seeing. Oh, that's it. I can't sound like a coyote or a wolf, but you know what it means. A-O-A-H. Yes, Association of Addicted Hobbyists. That's what we are. <laughs>